Also, maybe we just get a little mustache coverage, just a, just, just a little bit. Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. So as I'm sure you can tell already from this video, we're doing a little something different, a little impromptu extra video for the channel because I really, really wanted to test this out. This is the newest concealer from Clinique. This is their Even Better All Over Concealer and Eraser. And I picked this up in two different shades when it was available on Ulta. I want to say it was maybe a week-ish ago, maybe over the weekend, last weekend, but it was available as a platinum perk. So it was only there for 24 hours and then it went away. I thought this would be a good chance for us to just go through, talk about the coverage, the consistency, how does it wear, how does it look, um, and just, you know, a couple little things about it before it's launched. That way you guys have an idea of if it's something you would want to pick up or not. That sounds like something that you're into. Give me a second. We're going to bring the camera in, and of course, we're going to get into it. But for those of you that are new here, of course, I want to introduce myself. My name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria, and I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They go up around 7, 7.30 a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan. And then, of course, the most important thing, okay, the one thing I need you to take away from this video, if you haven't done so yet, please go follow follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, but mainly on Instagram because I am desperately and desperately trying to get to 10,000 followers so I can get the swipe up feature. Um, over on Instagram, I do a lot of makeup application, makeup like looks if you're looking for something in the creative realm. I do plus size fashion. I do IGTV videos as well. Also in my day-to-day -day life, I like to hang out in the Insta stories and we do makeup unboxings or PR unboxings. We talk about my life, what I do like in my job. Sometimes it's just a little bit more about me and kind of who I am, funny jokes, whatever, whatever I happen to see in the world around me that I think you guys might want to know about, I put that in my Insta stories. And it's just a really fun um, way for you guys to get to know me and, you know, see me a little bit more, have a little bit more content outside of YouTube. So if you're looking for more of me and for more of my day-to-day -day life, definitely check me out again. Everything will be linked down below. But from there, let's go ahead, zoom the camera in, and let's get started. Oh my god, phone. Ask me 18 more fucking times if I want to do an update literally while I'm using my phone. Like, who wants to do an update while they're using their phone? literally no one, okay? Because <laughs> I wouldn't be on my phone if I wanted to update it, okay? I'm not just like, oh boy, I wonder if there's anything that I can use to disable my phone right now while I'm trying to look up things. <sighs> All right, so we're good and zoomed in. I just have um, a little bit of my Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas laid down. This is my go-to primer anytime I'm working with complexion, whether it's foundation or concealer. It just gives me a nice neutral base. Getting into the review, um, we are going to be doing this more of like a Scott Barnes style. So I'm going to be doing all of my concealer first. That way we can really see the consistency, how it blends, um, what the coverage is, and really how this stands alone without foundation applied onto the skin yet. Because I think that that's like the most fair way to look at a concealer. Again, if we're really trying to get a feel for it for the first time. Let's go ahead first here and get on to the Alta website, which is where I currently am. Again, this is not available yet, but it looks like it says, according to their website online, this will be available August 16th and in store August 30th. So there are some dates. This retails for $26. You get 0.2 ounces of product and it looks like it is available in 42 shades, which is actually, I mean, they don't have like a, like a shade map so I can see all the shades, but 42 shades for a concealer line launch I think is pretty good. Um, I just really wish that there was like a map so I could see like all, all of the shades listed. And then down in the description, it says that this is for all skin types and that it is a lightweight, full coverage concealer that instantly perfects and visibly depuffs over time. Oh, okay. that's a big claim right there because I got some puffies going on, but you know what? I'm, I'll be fair. Um, it says you have a dual-ended applicator featuring a flocked tip doe foot wand and built-in sponge blurring blender. Um, it says that it gives you 12-hour concealer that instantly corrects, conceals dark circles and dark spots, blurs imperfections with all day staying power, and it is formulated and fortified with vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, which helps hydrate and plump fine dry lines, and caffeine helps to energize, which we all know how much I love caffeine, okay, because it's what I do. Now, getting into the shades that I have, the first one right here, this is WN01 Flax, and this one right here is CN02 Breeze just to compare the two next to each other. Wow, the, the number two right here, Breeze, this one has much more of like a pinky undertone and this one has a lot more of a neutral undertone, which for me personally, I much, much, much prefer um, the first shade right here, the shade Flax, because that's my preferred undertone. I really like it on my skin. Also, really quickly, I just wanna get into the uh, the end here because this is what it was calling the flocked tip doe foot. And I think it might be referring to that little well right in the center right there. You can see how it's a little bit darker in the middle. And I'm pretty sure 
sure that's just like a little spot for collection of product but other than that it's more of just like a blunted little doe foot which I actually really like this type of applicator it works fine for me and of course on the end right here as it was talking about there is a built-in sponge also in the cap if you wanted to use it and get down into here um, it is a soft squishy little texture but for me anytime I see something like this per, this is just me personally um, I do not reach for these because I feel like it's very impractical you can't sanitize them they're very difficult to wash just for me in my day-to-day -day life I prefer to use a sponge because every single day I know it's clean it's damp it's ready to go but if you are someone that needed like more of an on-the-go touch-up or an on-the-go option for something like this it is available again under the cap now we're gonna go in this is WN01 flax we're just gonna get a little bit of it spread out I'm not gonna like coat it up all the way you can see it's a thin application I didn't want to over apply and then I'm just gonna go in here with my sponge and blend it out just so we can kind of see the initial coverage and that's actually really, really pretty. My under eyes right through here do tend to eat coverage. And uh, that that actually looks really nice for first application. It looks nice, has a very, very thin consistency. And I'm definitely noticing when they talk about like the dry down, it does have more of a matte effect. Cause you can see right under my eyes how there's like no shine, there's very little lilt. It's just very like settled down, which I'm not mad at that. Again, my under eyes are super creasy. They're very inhospitable. And uh, I'm, I'm in favor of anything that looks like it'll stick down. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more of this here, blend that out just to see how the coverage builds. Okay, wow, do you guys see how nicely that just built up? Like for me to get a concealer to build up that that easily without being like thick and, and kind of crepey looking on my under eye, that is actually very impressive. Again, just first impression, not 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 having worn it, just blending it out. I really, really like that consistency. And I'm, and I'm very much so, if you're new here, I am very much so like a consistency kind of person. It really is important to me how it feels, if it's thick, if it's chunky, um, like how, how things just settle into my skin is very important because I'm super sensitive to that. Okay, so I'm just getting the other side blended out here. And I'm just gonna pause so you guys can see that there is a notable difference between like one layer of concealer and two layers of concealer. I feel Feel like this side definitely has you know more full coverage and it has a more smooth consistency to it whereas if you're going for more of a natural finish or a natural like look on your under eye look on your skin I feel like one coat definitely gets you there but there is a noticeable difference like they they look very um th this side looks just a lot more natural and a lot more like day to day if you're not into full glam but of course we all know that Paige is gonna want some full coverage today honey because she didn't sleep at all did she no she did not so we're really just gonna get that coverage in there honey we are gonna cover her up and all her problems are just gonna go away. Now anytime I do a Scott Barnes method, I map out a large portion of my face with concealer and then I fill in the other areas with foundation. And again, this isn't how everyone does it. You know, some people like to go a little bit lighter, be a little bit more dainty about it. But whenever I do it, it's because I like the breathable airy look that I get from the Scott Barnes method. I feel like my foundation just looks a lot nicer. It looks thinner. And so I thought for today's video, it would be a good way to get what I'm looking for in terms of the end result, but also a really good way to test this concealer all over the face and not just under the eyes. Also, maybe we just get a little mustache coverage, just a, just, just a little bit. Moving past that, I think in terms of foundation, I was gonna go in with a newer one because I've tested out some recently. Um, if you didn't see it, I tested the Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. I'll link it up here. I also just tested out the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better Foundation. I'll link that. And then probably two or three weeks ago, I tested out the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation, which I will link that as well. Because we are testing a concealer that I've never played with I want to make sure that I keep everything as even keel as possible so I think for today I'm gonna to go in with a little bit of my Catrice this is my HD liquid full coverage I am absolutely obsessed with this foundation and universally this foundation just works beautifully with you know every concealer every primer all right so here we are with the foundation on I did go with like a medium ish amount of coverage so you can still see a little bit of my acne peeking through like my, my hyperpigmentation and my redness at this point this is where we are and I do want to just point out if you look Look up under my eyes you will see creasing on both sides and for me that's not unusual at all especially um, while I'm like patting everything out before I have any powder on so it's nothing you know unusual for me so now it's time to move on to setting my under eyes and I'm actually going to use two different powders just so we can double down and make sure that the consistency of the powder isn't the problem so on one side I'm going to take my thinnest mill this is my Fenty powder um, I have this in the shade butter and I've been using it a lot lately 
lately. And truthfully, I really do love setting my under eyes with this powder because it's so finely milled. It has a beautiful, beautiful blurring effect. And I like to take it, I pack on just a little bit extra and kind of pull it all the way back. Just let it sit there and really um, press in to the concealer, really kind of work its magic. But then on the other side, I'm actually going to go in with some of my Hourglass powder. This is their translucent um, veil setting powder. And I absolutely, absolutely love this setting powder. And truthfully, I've noticed between the two that my under eyes do crease a little bit less when I use my Hourglass powder. Just because it has a slightly thicker consistency to it than the, uh, than the Fenty one does. Again, the Fenty one is very, very finely milled. Whereas the Hourglass one has just a little bit more thickness to it. And I feel like it just, it, it doesn't allow my concealers to settle out quite as much. Because I am testing out, um, you know, a new concealer, I wanted to make sure that I had just two different ways of setting, just in case, you know, we have like creases or we have, you know, separation or some kind of weird issue. I want to make sure that we have, you know, both sides represented under the eyes. And then really quickly, I did just take my Fenty powder. I worked it through the T-zone and a little along the jawline. And then from there, I like to lightly set the rest of my face with my Too Faced Born This Way powder, just my little guy right here. This is in the shade Cloud. So this is how everything looks once it's set down. I'm going to go ahead and keep moving through all the other products, but I just wanted to give you a nice little shot. From here, I'm going to go in with some bronzer. This is just my Nabla Cosmetics bronzer, and it's in the shade Ambra, Ambra. <laughs> okay, if you missed my, my video, I call it Abracadabra, and I'll, I'll link the video, by the way, if you didn't see it right up here. I tested out their new Miami Lights collection, and then for blush here, I'm actually going to go in with my little Chantecaille duo. This is their Radiance Chic Cheek and Highlighting Duo in the shade Rose, and I'm going to go in right here with this blush shade. It's just a nice little pinky shade. I'm just going to pop that right on. It's such a beautiful color. Oh, and by the way, yeah, I actually just did a video on this too. If you missed it, um, I tested out a ton of Chantecaille makeup, which I will link up here. Um, it went up, I want to say this week, last week. I don't, I don't even remember guys, all the weeks blend together, but it is a more recent video and I go through and test out everything that I picked up during their sale. So definitely check that out if in you are curious. And then just to go in and give myself a little skin brightening moment here, I'm going to grab my KKW. This is their brightening powder in the shade one. And I use this powder almost every single day. I just love the consistency of it. I love the way it brightens up the under eyes. So uh, I kind of figured too, today would be a good day to use this because uh, truthfully, if a concealer can't fuck with my KKW powder, then it, it just, it really shouldn't, shouldn't be in my repertoire. Okay. Cause I love this stuff. Ouch. I pinched my finger. Oh, I pinched my finger. Mm. Okay. And I know that we always think I'm like super dramatic because truthfully I am, but also can you see, I just like, I, that's like a scar. Like, oh my God, I'm, I'm basically bleeding. It's a flesh wound. Okay. Ow. Oh, that was a rough pinch. You bitch. That was a rough pinch. All right. So at this point I have just a few things left to apply, which I'm going to run off of camera and do, but I did want to get through a lot of, or most of the complexion. So that way you guys could see how everything applied. And that way, if we had any issues, we could kind of address it, um, as we went. But so far, I mean, I, the only thing I'm missing on my face is highlight in terms of complexion products. And guys, my skin looks gorgeous. It looks so like refined and just like my under eyes look so smooth too. And I have a a lot of texture up under here. Wow, this area too looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna run off of camera. I'm gonna finish everything up, brows, mascara, a little bit of lip, and some setting sprays, and I will stop back on, and we're gonna keep talking. So give me just a second, and I'll be right back. And all right, you guys, with that, I am back. The rest of my makeup is on. Um, everything that I'm wearing today will, of course, be linked down below, per usual for you guys. Um, if you wanna shop it, take a look at it, whatever, everything will be linked down there. But just so you guys know, um, just a real quick run through of what I did use on my skin. I went in with a little bit of my KK lip liner. This is in nude one. And then over top of that, and really the color that you're seeing on my lips is actually the Wayne Goss lip gloss in the shade Chrysanthemum. This is one of my favorite, favorite shades. It's like a beautiful deep bronzy sheen kind of color. And then for brows, we have the usual benefit stuff. And then I use the Les Pelatas or <laughs> whatever this is from Chantecaille right here. It's just a really beautiful duo toned highlight. But anyways, let's go ahead here and zoom in, um, or I guess, I guess in my case, lean in so you guys can see the complexion, see kind of what we're working with, um, especially up under the eyes right here. I'm actually very impressed. I really like the way that this concealer is settling onto my skin. And I think it's it's kind of a combination of the matte finish because it does have more of a light matte finish to it, but it's such a lightweight matte finish that it's just ever so gently kind of settling in and giving me more of like a smoothing matte versus like that dried out, crepey, crackly matte that no one likes. Um, it's definitely not doing that. It's giving me a nice kind of skin-like matte finish under here. But for the other areas of the face, again, you know, we've got along the jawline, the T-zone up through here. Um, I think everything is looking very good. I don't have any issues. I don't think with any areas of my skin. All right, 
know, at this point, obviously, I went ahead and I gained a little distance from you guys just so you could see the entire complexion, how everything came together. And of course, I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna go do my day and kind of, you know, give you guys some thoughts. But two things I want to mention. Obviously, you, you probably noticed if you've been here before, at least. Um, I am a glasses wearer. I wear glasses all day, every day. So when I come back on, obviously, this uh, area right here, where my glasses sit, that area is gonna be messed up. There's no way around it. Um, so we're not really judging it too harshly on that. And then because this is a concealer, I think it is fair or important to mention that when it comes to me, my skin, my under eyes, I almost always, and I'm talking like 90% of the time, okay, my under eyes right through here almost always crease. So before we even get to that part in the day and you see it and you're like, oh my God, it creased. I just want you to know going into it that that's, that's not super abnormal for me because again, almost everything creases on my under eye just because my bags are so, so pronounced and so big under there um, that I'm not, I'm not mad at it. It's just something that I wanted to mention. So for today, for this wear test, really what I'm focused on is the under eye area, the movement, like if I feel like the coverage kind of sloughs around, if I notice um, that I get like any little bald patches right down here, which does happen with like really shitty concealers. I've seen it before. Those are the things for me that I'm more so looking for, just those little um, inconsistencies with my skin personally. But anyways, for me, that's the end of the spiel. I'm gonna go ahead and do my day and I will stop back on here in a few hours. All right, you guys, with that, the day is officially over. I could not be more excited. Like <laughs> today has been such a long day, okay? I just want fuzzy pajamas and blankets. I wanna turn the AC thermostat. Like I wanna turn that bitch down to like 58, 60 degrees and wrap myself in a cozy blanket, some pizza rolls, and just like live my best life, okay? I am here for it. So, uh, you know, welcome welcome to my evening. I hope it sounds lovely for you. But of course you guys know, okay, before we can get into that and live our full best freaking greasy wrapped fantasy, okay, we've gotta sit down and do this up close and kinda talk about this concealer and wrap out our final thoughts. And for that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw up the up close. That way we are both looking at the same thing. I think the first thing I wanna mention is that I removed the, the glasses. You guys can see, you know, the line where they ride. You can see the under eyes and all of that, which is obviously more revealing of the concealer. In terms of this concealer and how it wore throughout the day, I am very, very impressed. I think this and the foundation together, they melded in so beautiful, not only into my skin, but like into each other. They just have worn so unbelievably beautiful. But again, getting a little bit more specific here, under the eyes, if we're kind of focusing in on that, I am very, very impressed with how this concealer wore. I think that, you know, yes, at the end of the day, like I mentioned this morning, it did settle out a little bit into my creases and into my under eye area. But again, for me, that is not a deterrent that doesn't bother me in the least because like that's something that I'm very used to with concealer in general. My under eyes oftentimes settle out. And if you consider with this concealer, which by the way, I don't even know if I mentioned this, I have been doing this wear test for I think almost 12 hours if we're not at the 12 hour mark already, okay? And I am so freaking impressed how beautiful and how smooth my entire under eye area looked throughout the day. And I really appreciated that even as it did kind of settle out and as it wore down, it didn't carry like any weird um, like sloughing with it. The under eyes still did stay covered. I feel like this concealer has just such a beautiful melding capability with, with the foundation, with my skin, with everything as a package. It just looks absolutely beautiful. My under eyes right now, for how long I've been wearing it and how hot I was today, they don't even look that bad. Like looking at them, if I didn't like peel, okay, if I didn't sit here and like peel my cracks apart. <laughs> Now there's a scent you don't hear every day. If I didn't just peel my cracks apart, Page. <laughs> Calm down. But seriously, like if I didn't pull my under eye cracks apart, like you wouldn't even know there was foundation in there. But anyways, you guys, I'm gonna stop talking. I've probably, you know, said too much, given too many details. And now this video is gonna be way longer than I wanted. But you know what? I think it's more important to just give the details, give you guys all the information and all of my thoughts. And I'm pretty sure that we have done that. So let me know what you guys think down below. Do you like these videos? Do you like a little surprise pop-up video um, every now and again, even if it's just like one, you know, one thing, one specific item like concealer? Are you guys cool with that? Again, you can let me know down in the comments. Don't forget, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications down below. I would love it if you want to stick around. Of course, you guys know you can follow me over on Instagram and on Twitter. They will both be linked down below, but mainly Instagram. You guys, with that, with everything all said and done, I hope you all have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bop, tip, top, I do, up. Tip, top, I do, up. Tip, top, I woo, woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was a lot of faces. <laughs> I need to paint my toenails. I really need to paint my toenails. Oh, but I'm just so lazy. Like, I just, I want to sleep. I want, I need to paint my toenails, but I want to sleep. <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> probably sleep. Sleep is probably going to win. Mainly because I'm just going to fall asleep. Like, oh, done. <laughs> What's she doing? She's sleeping. She's sleeping.